What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I had a download that I wanted to address. There's a woman who is spiritually attacking another woman. I don't think she's working alone. But she has, has thrown spiritual attacks at this woman before, and she was not successful. Um, just trying to stop different things from happening in her life that would make her um, happy and abundant, okay? But this woman was not successful in doing that. So now she is still spiritually attacking this woman, but she's doing it in a different way. What she's trying to do is slow this woman down, um, make her feel sleepy, make her feel tired, make her feel lazy, make her not really have a care in the world, that type of dreamy energy. However, this type of energy is going to cause her to slack off on her business, um, her hustles, her profession, her home life. And her slacking off in these different ways is going to cause her to lose opportunities, abundance even is what I'm picking up here, okay? So she's trying to use this person against themselves to destroy themselves. That's the type of spiritual attack that she's sending at this person now. Before, she would just try to do stuff to stop their love life or make them lose their job or get in a car accident, crazy shit like that. But of course that didn't work because this is a divine feminine that we're talking about, okay? So now this woman is just trying to send spells towards this woman to make her not care about things, make her not be on point, make her feel lazy and indifferent to handling her hustles, handling her business, two, two, two on the phone. Because this woman is just insanely jealous and envious of this woman, okay? She just wants this woman to give up and go away. Like she wants her to disappear. She does not want this woman to be in the spotlight at all. But that's damn near impossible to do because this, like I said, this this female, this female that's currently being spiritually attacked by this other woman, she's a divine feminine. She's divinely protected. She is divinely guided, okay? And this other energy is guided by the dark. This is the type of vibe I'm getting from this moon card, okay? They are, they do a lot of things in the dark, up under the moon. I'm picking up on moon magic here. I feel like this person just did something during this last full moon against this divine feminine. But they are, they are very mysterious, full of secrets. They got plenty of bones in their closet, okay? This moon energy that's attacking this divine feminine. She's in regret. I feel like this moon energy is disappointed that things have not worked out when it comes to stopping this Ace of Pentacles energy from thriving, okay? She's disappointed because she has not been able to stop this woman from having a victory in her life. She has not been able to stop this woman from being in the spotlight as well, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What else? We have the Page of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands, okay? So, this Queen of Wands energy is this moon energy. This is somebody who definitely is some form of witch, okay? She cooks up spells, presents offers unknowingly to people that cause them to be in this state of disarray that I'm picking up. 
This Ace of Pentacles, she don't feel like nothing is going bad in her life, okay? She just feels like she doesn't have any energy. She doesn't really care about things that she normally cares about. It's a very lackluster type of vibe that she's giving off. And she knows that's not herself, okay? And the reason why she's in this energy is because this Queen of Wands has sent yet another spiritual attack your way with this Page of Cups energy, trying to have you in the Ten of Swords, trying to make you ruin yourself, okay? She's trying to, she, she knows she can't stop you. So she's trying to influence your energy for you to stop yourself, okay? By not showing up and showing out like you normally do. And it was just 555 on the phone. What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know? I'm trying to tell you, this woman, we got the Ten of Swords, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords out here. This woman is being very, 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 very secretive, very, very, very discreet with her level of spiritual attacks because I feel like she's been exposed for possibly attacking this divine feminine before, okay? Um, but it's an obsession for her with this devil energy to try to destroy. I'm going to show y'all how this looks. It is an obsession for this moon energy, Queen of Wands, witch bitch, to try to destroy this Ace of Pentacles energy, this other divine feminine, and have her in the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is this Queen of Wands goal, okay? She ain't giving up the fight. She's just being more discreet with how she fighting, okay? Because she knows that this divine feminine queen of pentacles energy can transmute that negative energy being sent towards her and make it profitable for herself. She's already done that. I'm telling you, this, this queen of wands has attacked this queen of pentacles before in the past. And I believe that at times she may have had some effect on this woman, but she persevered with the strength card here. And she pushed through, like I said, Queen of Pentacles. Every time I see a Queen of Pentacles or a King of Pentacles, it reminds me of an alchemist because they know how to make money. They know how to transmute energy. They know how to fuse things to work in their favor. And this is what this Divine Feminine Queen of Pentacles energy did the last time this Queen of Wands was attacking her, and it was just 808 on the phone, okay? So this Queen of Wands, she's trying to get creative. She's trying to make this woman destroy herself, which is like even more asinine. But I do feel like if you don't, if you're not aware of, I can't make it up because I do be knowing, okay, with this high priestess here. If you're not aware of, what is happening to you if you are not fully in tune with yourself to know that something is off, something is not right, then you don't know what to rebuke. You don't know what to block. You don't know what to return to send to the sender. So I'm here to tell you, okay, Queen of Pentacles, Divine Feminine, feminine Energy, if you listening, if you've been feeling very lethargic, very tired, worn out, don't have no energy, don't have a care or an interest in things that you know have kept you going, have kept you alive, have kept you abundant, okay? That is a spiritual attack. They don't even want me to talk, okay? She don't, this Queen of Wands don't even want me to tell it, but I'm telling you, you have a Queens of, Queen of Wands energy who is trying to stop you from being productive because they know if they can stop you or slow you down from being productive, you will lose out on opportunities and advancements that you've already achieved, okay? You will lose out on those things if you, if you remain in this indifferent, lazy 
tired state. And she is pushing that energy towards you. 1001 on the phone. I can't make it up. This Queen of Wands energy, this is somebody you know. This is also what I'm picking up. 1010 on the phone. They're cloaking themselves. They're trying to make themselves seem like they are innocent, that they're possibly cool with you, a friend of yours. Okay, this is somebody who knows what you got going on and they are trying to figure out a way to stop it. And... Hmm... I'm picking up on Virgo energy. I'm picking up on Virgo energy from you, Queen of Pentacles. But I'm also picking up on, mm -hmm. let's just see. Let's see what come out. But I'm picking up Virgo energy in this reading. It may be this Divine Feminine though who I'm picking up on. But again, I'm here to expose these type of hoes. It's 11, 11, was just 11, 11 on the phone, okay? This Queen of Wands, whole witch energy is trying to stop you. They are trying to stop you, all right? They are trying to get you to fuck yourself up. With this sun card here, they're trying to get you to expose yourself. Like everything they did to try to make you look bad and seem like some old fucked up person, it didn't work. So now they're trying to get you to put yourself in that energy, okay? Like they're trying to get you to fuck up so people can be like, yeah... I knew she wasn't going to hold it down. Yeah, I knew this was this was something temporary. This wasn't really what this Queen of Pentacles is about, okay? 12-12 on the phone. She trying to make you look bad. She trying to make you fall off so that she can be like, mm-hmm, I knew she wasn't shit. I told y'all. I'm telling you. That's what she's saying. She trying to throw your life out of whack. She's trying to have you in the nine of swords so that she can be able to go back to people and somehow seem like the victor, seem like she was right about you because she was able to destroy you, which is crazy. Okay, real, real weird energy, but you also have to know yourself. And if you know that you haven't been as productive as you normally would be, you know that you have been slacking on your responsibilities, your projects, things that you have put a lot of time and effort in, and now it's like all of a sudden it don't really matter to you like that. That's a spiritual attack, man, okay? Somebody is trying to stop you. 1313 on the phone. You got to be stronger than that, and you definitely got to be smarter than that and return that energy to sender. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know? We have a Queen of Cups. So, this Queen of Wands energy, like I said, they've been cloaking themselves. They don't want you to pinpoint who they are, but I have just pinpointed who they are. This person is a water sign, okay? With this High Priestess, this Moon energy, and this Queen of Cups out here, this person is a water sign, possibly a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, okay? Whoever this is is trying to stop you. And they, this Queen of Cups energy is coming out too because this woman is extremely emotional about your life and who you are. Like she is, it's an obsession, okay? With this devil card out here too, I just feel like this woman is, weirdly obsessed with you like she just has this vendetta against you she's out for blood out for your blood but it's like why what's what is her obsession for you rooted in let's find out holy spirit why is this queen of wands energy so obsessed with this queen of pentacles we have temperance 
She upset because God blessed you. God blessed your life. God placed a hedge of protection around you. He shielded you from the negativity that was being sent your way. And I'm picking up that she's not the only person that has tried to attack you for who you were in the past, okay? But she's upset because you are divinely guided and protected. That's all this temperance energy says to me. I literally ask, why is she mad? Why don't she like you? And it's because you are a divine being, honey. You special.